So we saw the reaction of metal with oxygen, with water and with acid. But what happens when a metal reacts with another metal salt? What do you think will be the product? Now in this case, it depends on the reactivity. It depends on which one is more reactive or in simpler terms, which one is more stronger. For example, when zinc is reacting with copper sulfate, what do you expect the product to be? It is zinc sulfate plus copper. Now what has happened here is that the stronger one has replaced the weaker one from the salt. Now this was the metal, this is the salt. What happened is displacement. So the stronger one always wins and it will replace the weaker one and this will now come in the solution. So we have a reactivity series for that in which there is a list of metals in which on the top we have most reactive metals while here in the bottom we have least reactive metals. So let us see the reactivity series. So here is the reactivity series and the reactivity increases as we go up. So what happens? The reaction of metals with anything, for example oxygen or water or acid or with another metal salt will be in this order. Potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium. These are taken as most reactive metals while here gold, silver, mercury, these are least reactive metals. So they don't generally react with anything while these ones in the middle are mild, not so strong, not so weak as well. Now what happens when we react anything with silver or gold, we get no reaction. We get no reaction because they are the least in the reactivity series and they do not react with anything. Now here one important thing for you to note down is aqua regia. Now you'll ask what is aqua regia? It is a solution which is made up of three parts of HCl and one part of HNO3. That means if I add one unit, if I add 10 grams of HNO3, I should add 30 grams of HCl. So it's a solution containing these two in this ratio that is 3 is to 1 and the importance of aqua regia is that it is used to dissolve these highly unreactive metals that is gold and silver and that's how we use them for making jewelry. Now this aqua regia it's a very highly concentrated and fuming liquid which is used to dissolve very low reactive metals such as silver, gold or platinum also. So again one important question from your exam. What is aqua regia? And what is its importance? If you like the video, please hit the like button, comment and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe for all our future videos.